Thanks, guys. Joining me right now is former LSU national champion and NFL running back Jacob Hester. And Jacob, what a difference a week makes for the LSU Tigers. The energy in the in the in the in the building tonight was something special. I don't even know if the term night and day does it justice. I mean, it was totally different. There was the energy in this building, and obviously with a new coach, it's going to bring that. But it was everywhere. It was players, fans. It didn't matter who you were. You felt the energy, and man, they look good. They look fluid. That's what we've been asking for: is to look fluid. Before we talk to the game, you know, Coach Ogeron had talked about reaching out to the alumni and, you know, invited all the former players and whatnot back to the field, down the, we saw a lot of former players, a lot of your old teammates on the sidelines, coming down the hill with the team. I mean, it was a real family atmosphere. Absolutely. I think those things are great. Why not do that kind of thing? You know, I saw some guys I hadn't seen in a long time because the doors have been opened up to walk down Victory Hill. I mean, guys look forward to stuff like that, seeing them on the sidelines. It's good for these younger players to see these guys and maybe talk with them. They might learn something just from one conversation with them so I, I love that stuff I think it's a smart move saw so Jalen Mills Brady James uh, Robert Royal some other some other greats uh, here let's talk about the game uh, LSU came out fast and really uh, it was over by halftime it really was. Look, the offense was great. It was so smooth. They spread it out, but they still ran the football. I mean, they had over 400 yards rushing, but they did it a different way. They did it spreading the guys out, four receiver sets, still running. They ran out of shotgun a lot, probably the most I think I've ever seen an LSU team do. And they racked up over 400 yards rushing. It's not about this and that. It's about, at the end of the day, being successful, and they were successful. What did you see specifically, uh, and what's your thoughts on a Steve Ensminger offense? I mean, he's been on the staff for, since, what, 2010? And uh, his first game as coordinator, LSU puts up over 600 yards of offense in an SEC game, a record. Incredible. Oh, it's truly incredible to have a record your first game you ever call it. Uh, look, he, he's been doing this for a long time. He's done it at Clemson. He's done it at AM. He's been uh, around the block a couple of times. He knows what he's doing. He called a great crisp game. There was never a lull in it, and they didn't take their foot off the pedal. Something that these two wins that we've had in this stadium, that is what kind of happened there in the third, fourth quarter, the points weren't coming. It's the first points they've scored all year in the fourth quarter. You know, we can't get too, too excited. It is a Missouri team that obviously is not that good. LSU will be tested next week in the swamp. Uh, no number seven. Uh, Fournette wasn't in uniform today, didn't play, but uh, LSU had two backs over 100 yards. That's a position you know well. What was your takeaway from, from Geis and Williams? In my opinion, Darius Geis is a top five running back in this country, not just this conference. I mean, he is truly special. He just happens to be behind the best running back in the country, so he doesn't get as many, many touches. But, like, he did a great job. So did Williams. Brissett even came out with a 60-yard run. There are so many running backs in this stable at LSU. Leonard Fournette didn't have to carry it 28 times. Let those other guys take some of those carries. I mean, they could have a four-headed monster, and they could be really successful and score a lot of points running the football. Is it possible that LSU – can actually turn this thing around. They started two and two. The offense looked, you know, just the lackluster. And then all of a sudden they set a record in the SEC for, you know, total yards. They put over 40 on the board against an SEC opponent at home. Can, can really this team turn it around like this? I think they can because, look, I know it seems like a long time ago, but they were a top five team in the country preseason. I think you saw that team on the field tonight. So, yeah, they can turn around because they have the guys for a top five team. Now it's got to go out and play football. We'll see you next week, Jacob, in the Swamp. Looking forward to it. That's my place right there. Yeah, he's had some good times against the Florida Gators. We'll be uh, we'll throw it back to the Louisiana Cat Studios.